Each driver has a power input coming from the 36 volt power supply and two power output lines going to the two different phases of the motor. These four wires are what go to the connector plugs at the front of the box. The limit switches are also connected to the Arduino and tell the machine when it has reached its home position as well as serving to prevent it from moving beyond its physical bounds. Okay, once again, we stop his tutorial so that we can provide a more in-depth look at what he's discussing because, of course, he did just what I said and broke down basic components in that he understands how a switch works. Now we're going to get into more theory around why so many systems have problems. When you run, like he has here in his image, a proximity slash home switch, whatever you want to call it, right near a spindle slash wood router, which he purchased from Home Depot, which was never designed to be used for robotics use, in proximity to that you are at high risk of EMI penetration because those low voltage components were never designed to be run without double shielded cable to properly dissipate any potential EMI that would be present. Now the thing to keep in mind guys when I tell everybody that these wood routers are not designed for robotics use they generate more amperage based on friction. If you're cutting at a faster feed rate you generate more friction. If you're cutting at a lower feed rate you generate less friction but but the bottom line is any hiccups during cutting with that spindle motor or slash router motor, you're going to have fluctuations in amperage, which creates fluctuations in EMI.